so we are continuing our election coverage with the uh, campaign chairman, the chairman actually of the Washington State Republican Party. Yeah, Caleb Heimlich joining us right now this morning. Caleb, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for being here. So talk a little bit. How do you think the party did last night? So I said before the results came out that we thought last night would be our low point. And I think that played true. The question remains how many votes are out there and do those votes move our direction? We're at about 36% turnout in terms of all the ballots counted statewide. In 2018, turnout was 72%. So I'm not a math major, but we might have about we might have counted about 50% of the votes with 50% still the count of those that will come in and be counted over the coming days. So whether that's the eighth congressional district, whether it's the third congressional district with Joe Kent, whether it's the state Senate races you talked about in the 26th or the 42nd, or state house races also in the 42nd, the 10th, the 26th. Republicans gained between three and five points in the August primary in the days following election night because a lot of Republicans waited to vote on election day and those votes weren't counted yet. Uh, so we'll see how the trends go tonight at 4 p.m., tomorrow at 4 p.m., and then Friday and then really be able to figure out what our state's going to look like moving forward. And you just mentioned the 8th Congressional District and uh, wanted to talk about that one. That's still too close to call between Kim Schreier and Matt Lark and the GOP gaining a lot of seats nationally through redistricting. What, what effect has that had in terms of the changing district map and control of the House? Well, I think in Washington state, we have an independent bipartisan redistricting uh, process and the eighth really remained unchanged. So if we flip that seat, if Matt's able to gain a lot of votes over the coming days and wins, it's not going to be because of redistricting. It's because it's going to be because the voters uh, wanted to go in a different direction. You know, Caleb, I, I do want to ask you, I mean, Washington State traditionally, I mean, it's a, it's a blue state. You talk about King County. It's it's hard for anyone to, you know, a run a race as a Republican and win in that type of area. So what is the goal for the Washington State Republican Party moving forward? What is your game plan here? Yeah, that's a great question. I think our goal this year and our goal moving forward is going to be to restore balance. I think when you look at the city of Seattle, you can see the excesses of one party government when only one side is, is heard, one side has all the seats at the table. And I think when we're looking at our state legislature, whether it's on cost of living, whether it's on public safety, the Democrats are going, they're overstepping their bounds. And I think as we engage with voters, that's what we were hearing on the doors this year. We knocked on 800,000 doors connected with voters. I think there's a lot of people that are hurting in this state and looking for new leadership. And that's what the Republican Party will continue to provide. Caleb Heimlich, appreciate you being with us this morning here with the uh, Washington State Republican Party. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.